Alright, this is um, another, I guess, pick up. It is a pick up video, more of a pick up video. Well, you know, it is going into my comic book collection, but again, this is more of a pick up video as I, you know, been busy. Well, not busy, but I have had some downtime during the holidays and I just wanted to relax a little bit, but this is what I've been up to. I went to my comic book shop and got Batman number four. I haven't been to a comic book shop in a long time, like in over a month, maybe six weeks, about. Yeah, this is what I got. It's a pretty good back and forth issue with Batman and Robin, and this is like my, you know, Batman and Robin is my favorite book in the DC universe, it always has been, for, well, for the past, like, two years. So, yeah, this is Batman and Robin. Next one is, how could I forget, Fantastic Four, number 601. 601. Oh, it's not staying up. Anyway, this is a very, 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 very good issue. Very, very good. As you can tell, I, I love the, the storyline of Fantastic 600. What happened in 600, and this is, you know, Johnny Storm, you know, he died. He comes back with, like, a vengeance. I mean, it's just so awesome. This book is just incredibly awesome. And I would recommend anyone pick this up. It, you know, it's just, it's, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome, but you might have to do, like I said, with 600, you might have to do a little bit of research beforehand before you pick it up so you know what's going on. But it, it's just a really good book. And of course, to continue that storyline, Future Foundation. Ah, oh, I can't get this to stay up. Future Foundation. I just, I mean, I just love the cover. I mean, it just looks so awesome. I mean, look at that. There's Dr. Doom and there's Franklin Richards. The cover, I mean, it just struck, it just caught my eye immediately. But I mean, it's just a good thing right here because now you have the children and with uh, with Doctor Doom over here, and they're in like in a what was it? I can't remember. They're in like some sort of portal or dimension where they're trying to fight these super uber like strong gods, and Doctor Doom finally gets released, and you know, it's, it's a pretty good issue too. It's nowhere near the action and awesomeness that was Fantastic Four number six hundred one, but. It's still pretty good, and as Hickman stated, it, it, this is a huge foundation is supposed to be like the slow burn. And he's a pretty good writer, so I would, you know, trust him. And the latest one I picked up was Avengers Children Crusade number eight. And I don't know if you see my other videos, but I this is a very good storyline. It's always, you know, it just has a really frustrating release schedule because they keep delaying it, which is just a pain in the butt. But it's very, very good. I mean, yeah, a lot of stuff happens in this one too, well, and some stuff, some really ter something terrible happens at the end. I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but it, it, I would recommend again picking this up too. This is very good. Enter Children Crusade number eight, and then we got some of like the older stuff that I've got. And this, like I said, this you know this is more of a pickup video, and more than not, not like you're not gonna find. This is not really gonna get a. What's the right one to look for? It's not really like super anything that's super rare or anything that's incredibly awesome and amazing. Although I, I did get some things that are like, you know, rare or awesome, but not to my say this isn't awesome, but, you know, I did get that, but I'm like holding off on that until I feel like I got more books. Anyway, this is Superman number six in Action Comics, Action Comics 699. This is the whole Battle for Metropolis storyline. And I just, I just wanted to get this, just to, because, uh, you know, I remember I had this, I had, like, one of these issues when I was a kid, and then somehow I lost it, and I always wanted to figure out how it ended, so I just went ahead and got it. And it's, I mean, the best thing to say is, a lot of stuff happens. I mean, it's like, like, Sluicer is pretty much trying to destroy Cadmus. Cadmus is destroying the, any creation of clones that he made with some sort of virus, and including, like, Sluicer, because he's in a clone body. And there, there's a group of underworlds that are being destroyed by this, and they're destroying Metropolis and any human. And Superman is pretty much right there in the middle, trying to hold everything together. And continuing the storyline is the Man of Steel, Superman, number 34. Oh yes, and as you can tell by the pictures, it's, it's just pretty much this entire thing is just pure anarchy, which is I guess they were trying to get across here. Because Superman is trying his best to like hold everything together. Meanwhile, you got Lex Luthor's men fighting. You got the Cadmus men led by Dublex and the Guardian right there fighting. And you know, and then you got the Underworld attacking humans, attacking hum humans, any human they see because they're desperate. It's it's a pretty good issue. It's just really anarchy though. And this right here is, this is Superman number ninety from Volume Two. And again, Lex Luthor is dying, and he's pretty much incredibly desperate. So desperate that he sets off a massive bomb 
to, and which pretty much levels almost all of Metropolis. And he's that's how desperate he is. And he, according to him, he was, if he can't live, he's gonna take the whole Metropolis down with him. So it's, it's good to see my, you know, Lex Luthor. You know, it's good to it's just good writing with Lex Luthor here, in my opinion. This is uh, the end. I mean, what comes after this is the fall of Metropolis, which I'm looking to get, which I'm looking to get to as well. And this is the Guardian Project and the Superman Adventures, Adventures of Superman 513. Now I like see this one is where they actually find a cure and because super and they managed to Superboy manages to rise out of the bed because he was dying too because you know, he's technically a clone of Superman. It, it's another really good, pretty good issue and you get some good, really a villainous, really villainous, desperate villain of Lex Luthor here and it's so awesome because he's so desperate and he has so arrogant that he ended up destroying the whole Cadmus facility. Him and his men, he sent his men to do this because he can't get the cure. He destroy it. And then Superman, it's such a good issue because at the end Superman comes out and he's so pissed off that he's gonna, he's like, so pissed off that he vowed to take down Lex Luthor once and for all. Yeah, anyway, yeah, this has just been another, another installment, I guess, of the collection and it's just, I, I would categorize this more of a pickup video. But, yeah, but yeah, I mean, like I said, there's nothing, anything, there's not, you know, anything incredibly special here, but, yeah, but I, I do have some other stuff that... I will probably hopefully show you in like um, within two weeks. Anyway, thanks for anyone who watched.